<laughs> you got caught in the rain a bit. We're about a five minute swim off the coast. Good morning, buenos dias, and welcome to Little Corn Island. It's beautiful, as you can see. <laughs> we arrived here yesterday at night because we didn't get here until the evening after the ferry over and didn't get to see it. So I've just come out this morning and then now I'm like, wow, look at, look at that water. I'm gonna show you in this video what Little Corn Islands is like. We're here for five days and this whole video is just gonna be the next five days showing you a bit about it, my first impressions, and what you can get up to here. Voila. All right, so interestingly, my first impressions of this is it's quite a built up local island. And it's not because it's tiny, I think there's only about a thousand people here, but this is the only road going through the island, and there's no, there's no cars, there's no motorcycles, but this one road is where all of the houses are and you can just walk between them. It's all like the local village here, but... Like, this is it. There's, there's, no, there's no main road for cars or bikes, it's, it's just this. So although it feels a little bit built, built up when you arrive, it's because there's nothing besides this road. So we're gonna go see what there is outside this village bit. Got lobster traps here, apparently a big thing to eat here. Yeah, all of the village is built right onto the water and there's like no real beach there. So now, hello. <laughs> so now I'm figuring that the beach is on the other side of the island. That's where we're walking now. We are really off the beaten track now, but I think I've got a feeling there's something this way. Yeah, I think we're not far now. found a beach and it's all ours. It's completely empty. Right, we've decided to pull up here, right next to this fry fish bar, which is completely shut down. Um, it's tough to say whether it's like shut down permanently or just because of covid and the pandemic right now uh like I, i've spoken to a few people here already and they said that maybe only two or three restaurants have stayed open and the rest have shut down because there's not that many tourists and we're also next to yamaya which is like the big biggest hotel here i think and that also looks completely empty the plus side of that being that we get it to ourselves but obviously it's a shame to come to places and see that and see the local businesses suffering and not having a lot of people here but the one silver lining to take from that is that you get the whole beach to yourselves. I also think that's a great reason to travel now if you can, if you feel safe with it and if you're vaccinated or, or whatever your own personal beliefs are but if you feel that you are able to travel then I think it's a good time to because Lots of businesses have been struggling, lots of businesses have got out of business. People need that income to survive, especially tourist islands. So like, if you can and inject money back in the local economy, then I think that can only be a good thing. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going swimming. about a five minute swim off the coast. <laughs> All right, we're walking back now with our guide. Come on. And just stumbled across this 
abandoned, overgrown baseball stadium. Yeah, we just started walking back from the beach. And it's quite a walk actually, but one thing I like about this island is that well, there's no main roads, it's just kind of a hike wherever you go. Uh, and as soon as we started walking, these four dogs started escorting us and running next to us. But we only have one left, the other three left us. Where are we going, Lassie? The kid fell down the well? That's impossible. Oh, and here is a solar farm. We actually did a lot more here than I filmed, but we just ended up enjoying it, so I've only really got these clips from my phone. What I can say is it's a picture-perfect Caribbean <laughs> island, and we spent most of the days just <laughs> hanging out by the beach, going snorkeling, and getting hassled by the local mafia. <laughs> the one thing we didn't do is go scuba diving there, but I have heard that it's one of the most beautiful places you can go scuba diving. So if you are there and you're into diving, then check it out. So one of the other things that Little Corn Island is great for is snorkeling and diving. We've been snorkeling for the past four days and I started this video on the first day. It's now our last day and I've just literally been chilling by the beach, walking around the island and snorkeling off the beach. It's been really cool. I didn't film much because it just turned into completely chilling here. But what I would say is that we're in like the low season of one of the lowest seasons because of Corona and it's very, very empty. I think there's been about five to ten or tourists on the island the whole time we've been here and only two restaurants open. That one from the beginning of the video now, Fry Fish Bar, is now open but only one day a week. So we've come out here to check it out and then we're leaving at 6 a.m. in the morning. Really cool place to come to. I bet it's completely different when it's a bit busier and more places are open but if you want an idyllic paradise island all to yourself with gorgeous beaches and amazing marine life then this is the place and the people have been absolutely great as well i'm gonna finish it here we're off to big corn island in the morning might see you there in the next video might not might see you when we're off to el salvador in a few days time but for now thank you for watching and see you in the next one